Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Welcome back. Good news is that we are at 70 of 80 downloads for Raid Shadow Legends. I know we're still talking about it. Um, <clears throat> reason being, I'm still promoting the game. 10 more downloads is all I need for Raid Shadow Legends. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, the link will be in the description below. All you have to do is download it, play through the tutorial, make an account. It takes about three to five minutes. And uh, you'll be helping me out amend tremendously. Amend amend that was immensely and tremendously. Amendously. How many downloads do I have, Dustin? I have 70. I'm real close. And uh, it's free. Absolutely free. You don't have to pay a dime. If you don't like the game, you can uninstall it. If you like it, you can keep playing it. I made a channel in the Discord, <laughs> in the subscriber Discord for, uh, for Raid because Mike and some other players are really, really enjoying it. And... Um, totally up to you guys but just signing up downloading it on a pc and using my link and playing through the tutorial helps me out a ton and i only need 10 more people to do it by like thursday i think we can do it but the sooner we do it the better i'll feel oh drew i appreciate you buddy thank you so much man Yeah, a couple people were like, I'm going to do that a little bit later. And I was like, all right, sweet. So if those people actually do it, that'd be great. What's happening right now in this pack? We're living the dream. <clears throat> I'm such a black blue like fanboy. I want to take this thief of sanity. Ugh. Cause if Knights Whisper or Duress Wheels, like, just take the same thief, yeah. God, you guys know. You guys know what I want. I want it all. Can I download it via the Discord link and download it on Android? You have to download it onto a PC, but you can connect your mobile accounts to it. You can connect your iOS or your Android account to it. So you do have to download it and install it on a PC. Yes. All right, thief it is. I think something good will table from that. Oh, fetid pools. I'm just taking the fetid pools. I think it's a, it's a good, what is this? Look at this. Like, I hate when I, my, when like the part of your hair is like, like, oh, look, I got a long hair here that should be on this side. Come on, long hairs. Get it together. Yeah, I'll just take the land that goes with our first pick. Ooh, breeding pool. Come on, we're living our best life here. So, Oral, <clears throat> Oral, longtime supporter, my dude. Had a stipulation earlier in the year for Vintage Cube. We said, hindsight 2020, redo your favorite stip draft of the last decade, but do it better this time. Pick a good one. This is for like the new year. The problem is, I couldn't think of one. So Oral came back and was like, just draft Sultai good stuff. You know that's what you want to do anyway. And that's always a good time. So that's what I'm going to do. Oral buddy, this one's for you. Breeding pool... I think Breeding Pool is better than Preordain. I think it's definitely... I, I think Preordain is great. But I think Fixing is at a premium in this in this cube for some reason. Oh, Watery Grave? All right, well. Sure. If Chart, Familiars, or Sower come back, I'm going to be all right with that. CJ Willy, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm going to take Murderous Cut. I actually like Merfolk Branch Walker, though. Five months is something, man. Don't Don't diminish the support. I won't have that. I appreciate it. I appreciate one month. Anytime you guys are like, I'm going to give you this subscription. I don't have to do it, but I choose you. Like a Pokemon, like a Pokemon starter. It's beautiful. That's all I want. God, I hope I have... I had tacos for lunch. I want to have like cilantro and stuff in my teeth. That'd be wild. 
Oh, Rant. I love this card so much, dude. It's so fun. Plus, like, we didn't take it the other day, and I think it would have uh, benefited us. But Mike was like, oh, I don't think that card's very good. So I'm going to take it now. I'm going to take it now. In my Sultai good stuff. Can you imagine Thief of Sanity attacking, triggering to steal one of their cards, and also triggering to draw a card? It's pretty good. I think Victimize is actually really good. I'm going to take Hinterland Harbor, though. Because I'm a sucker for some good mana. I'm a sucker for a good mana. Oh. I like Mana War. I also like Marin and I also like Genesis. I think Marin's I think Marin's the pick here. Marin is like a Genesis that like you don't have to pay mana for. <laughs> What's a mana for? For the pooping, silly. The duress did come back. Okay. Saren Freed, also decent. But I think Duress is way strong in Q. Oh, what up, my gimp? Rankle. I'm going to take Rankle. Maybe it's decent. Or is it Return to Nature? Ooh, Return to Nature is really good for the side vizzle. I'm going to take Rankle. Oh, Preordain came back? Dang, in your face, Smokey Loki. Oh, Charter Course? Oh, boy. This is looking wild. No one wants blue cards, apparently. Oh, no, Gary came back. Uh, Thank I'll you. Take Chapel. Water Sports Drew, 35 months. I'm still sad. Oh, Gross Bar is playable. I'm still sad I'm such a forgetful pleb that my streak is only 11. Unbelievable. 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 Translation? I don't believe it. What do we got here? Hydroid Crisis. Pact of Negation. I don't think Scour All Possibilities is very good. If it was an instant, I'd be like, well, that's pretty good. I think Agonizing Remorse is great. I also think this will likely come back because I don't think anyone's in these colors. Water Sports Drew. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. I mean, you can say what you want about your streak, but, like, being stuck for 35 months is pretty awesome, dude. Three years. Where's Twitch Premier Raid Shadow Legend? Hey, Frank, where's Twitch's Premier Raid? <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Michael B. will be joining us at 4-ish, I imagine. I like Demir Signet and I like Exclude. I think these are two very, very good cards. I think Exclude is fantastic. I love Signet, but Exclude. Oof. Exclude's so good. Huh. I think I'm going to go with Exclude. We can get more Signets. We can get Golgari Signet. We can get Civic Signet. We have Grow Spiral, which is also kind of like a Signet. I'm going to take the Exclude. I just think it's really, really powerful. Overgrown Tomb gives us Breeding Pool, Watergrave, and Overgrown Tomb. That's pretty good. Force of Negation, also very, very good. Telling a creature they can't sit at your table feels good? What does that mean? <sighs> Is it Overgrown too? Oh, excluding them. Dang, that was real dumb of me. I like Force, I like Tireless Tracker, I like Overgrown Tomb. Huh. Our fixing is fantastic. <laughs> I feel like I just want to take this because it's just perfect. It just perfects the mana base. I took it. Oh, Sylvan Carry Iron, Wood, Wooded, Woodland. Oh, we got Counterspell though. I think we just got to take Counterspell. I think Woodland Sunder might even come back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I always count the cards instead of just looking up here. Oh, how many cards? 12. Uh, 
I'm gonna say Counterspell. There's 12 cards in this pack. I think one, either Edric, Ravenous, Mass, Sylvan, or Woodland will come back. Oh, I like Corsair of Crowfix. I think Corsair is better than Thrashing Bronto Don. Yeah, I'm gonna take Corsair here. Yeah, it seems good. This card actually wasn't that bad. Um, we're definitely taking Gonti though. Gonti's just better. Gonti steals one of their cards, guys. You ever stolen a card before? Thrag Tusk. What was for lunch? I had some tacos. I had I had some tacos and I used some blackberry hibiscus hot sauce on there. That was delicious. And then I used my my go to Cholula. This is the twelve ounce bottle. This is this is like if you filled a Coke can with Cholula. That's how much Cholula you have in there. Pernicious dude. Oh my god. I think it's Thrag Tusk. Drowned Catacomb. I'd take Thought Erasure, but we already have Agonizing Remorse. And I think I think I just want the Drowned Catacomb. Our mana base is looking fucking stacked. I don't know if we're a Finhorn Elves deck. I'm going to take Hex Drinker. Here's an interesting way of looking at Hex Drinker, right? You, you, it's a 2-1 one for 1, which like you look at our deck and you're like, I don't really care for that. It's not really what we're looking for. For protection from instance and a 4-4, four, four, it costs 3 levels up, right? So let's say you play it for 1, level it up for 3. This is a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four with protection from instance. That on the next turn, you can make a 6-6 six, six with protection from everything. So I think it's actually pretty good. I don't think this is a 1-drop. I think it's closer to a 4-drop. <laughs> the mere signet came back. We are the only ones in the colors. That's fucking wild. The mere signet coming back? Come on. Uh, Shriek Moss seems fine. Unfortunately, the Tireless Tracker nor the, um... What was the other card? Uh, I don't know. I'll take Shriek Maw. Mass Manip came back. Everything else did not. If there's a Leovold... I think Mass Manip is good. Skull Hunter, you're, you're playable. Thorn Lieutenant is actually playable. Cruel Ultimatum is... Last big cruel ultimatum? Jesus. You people ain't got no respect. There's a Narset. I actually kind of like Narset because I wonder if we can hit a Leovold. Also, our mana is fantastic right now, so I don't think we need Nurturing Peatland. I'm taking Narset, and I'm crossing the fingers for Leo. Le Uncle Leo! Jerry! Uh, I think it's Polluted Delta here. I think one of the... Oh man, Polluted Delta is so... <sighs> just goes to... Just goes to show. I mean, I guess I'm glad it was Muldrifter, all the cards, but... I'll take Underground River. This pack is not... <laughs> Muldrifter it is! Yeah, this pack is not super exciting. Oh boy, Muldrifter. You are a... A biscuit and a half. Can I tell you guys that I really like Crashing Footfalls? And I think it's actually really hard to deal with. I also like Voracious Hydra and Custody Lich as well. Turn your love around. Crashing Funhalls, Racious Hydra, Custody. Like, being the Monarch seems really strong in this format. <sighs> Tassa Daddy? I am not a Tassiger fan at all. In any way, shape, or form. Doom 
Whisper. I'm not really in the business of playing more five. Actually, one Aetherling as, at the top end seems great for our deck. Sure. I think Murderous Cut's more like a three drop as well. What did Foothills? I mean, you get Breeding Pool and you get Overgrown Tomb. I mean, that's pretty good. The only other card would be Ponder, but we already have Preordained, Chart of Course. We have lots of things. Man, I like Plow Under. I also like Mist Syndicate Naga. We don't have a lot of creatures. I guess we have 12, but we just don't have... Do we even need it? You have my Coast, man? Like... Like, our fixing is... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 fixing lands. I think Plow Under is just way stronger. I'm taking Plow. I think Plow Under is strong. Oh, Golgari Signet? Shoot. <sighs> Ophiomancer seems real good as well. I don't know what you don't really ramp means. Like, we ramp if... I mean, like, we have Grow Spiral, Demir Signet. Like, we're trying to get to 4 and 5, for sure. Nothing to ramp to. Like, we have all 5 drops and 6 drops. What are you guys talking about? Oh, the Nurturing Peatling came back. Okay. Easy pick. Dismember? Alright, I'm game. I'll just take Ink Eyes. I don't think it's great, but maybe it's better. I'll take now. Now I'll Logic Knot though is hard counter. I'll make two cuts here. Yeah, I definitely like Logic Knot better. I'm gonna take Electrolyze. I'll take Mental Note. Uh, let's pick Stagger Shock. Sure, this deck is great. It's a lot of five drops, but Murderous Cut's more likely a four drop. Everything else is pretty smooth. We can cut Thrag Tusk. I'm always okay to cutting Thrag Tusk. And we can, like, board it in. You're kind of like a four drop, but, I mean, like, you can, be any you can go anywhere on here. Probably cut Dismember. We don't have a ton of removal, though, so maybe not, actually. I think that Gross Spiral. Gross Spiral's just a, a worse Signet, though, right? Our mana base is great. I can see cutting Narset, actually. Are you sure we can't splash Crow Ultimate him? No. No, I'm never sure about that. We can also get uh, a mountain with our wooded foothills. So. Turn your love around. I can show you how. Oh, boy. <sighs> Maybe Rankle. I don't... Hmm. I mean, 10 creatures seems fine. We have Lich, Aetherling, Orang Fro Oran Frost. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, what is this? So, let's sort by Colares. Pretty even distribution. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Also a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cut one of these. Add one of these. Like ten, nine, eight. That seems good. Alright, I'm in. Let's 
do it. We're just playing 41, guys. You can't sell me on 40. You can't. We're just playing 40, rather. I defaulted to saying 41. We're just playing 41, guys. He means 40. Look at Thank that you. thing. Look at that little thing. Kyers, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. And if any of you beautiful people want to sign up for Raid Shadow Legends, the link is in the chat. I need 10 more signups for a pretty sweet incentive. So. Let's remorse you. Show me what you've got. Harmonize and Sundering Titan. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck. Harmonize is better now. <laughs> Sundering Titan is better in the future. One, two, three, four, five, six. They need two more lands. And if we kill this, it's. I think it does count. I think I don't think it does count if you've downloaded it and played it before now. Like, you have to download it, make a new account, and then play through the tutorial. It takes about five minutes. It's totally free. Oh, my God. Can someone just tell me what to take? I don't know how to make this decision. Like, Sunning Titan absolutely wrecks us. But Harmonize is three cards. Yeah, I think it's actually Titan. I I mean, like... I also think I can beat three random cards better than a... Um, yeah, I think those three cards are going to be significantly less scary than one Sundering Titan. That that presumably even, like, so, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. That presumably would even, like, make us unable to deal with it because of it taking three of our lands, so... Okay, please don't yield through... Oh my god. I was like, please don't yield through my turn. Well, they still have seven mana, so like... It's a good amount of mana. This just in. Seven mana is a good amount of mana. This is the high quality strategy content you guys are here for. Gore Claw and Cultivate, sure. Okay, so you're gonna have one forest in your hand. Are you gonna play it? Did you play it? No, you've already played land. Okay. Ooh, how nice. Freebies. Give me a kiss to build a dream on and my imagination. Alright, so we're actually gonna play Lieutenant. And then we're actually going to cycle so we don't have to... So maybe we can hit another land next turn. Off the top. Because I don't think with seven lands we're going to need the fetid pools. Where is Mike B? Mike B has a job. And that's where he is. I feel like this is fine in the mono green deck. Guess I was mistaken. <sighs> cool. <laughs> Fucking Boon Seder. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Uh, 
Yeah. All right, let's do that so we can not take nine damage, I guess. I can't imagine they have another one. Well, I can't even imagine. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Triggers on stack, right? Does this go away at the end of the turn? No. Yep, that's hard to deal with. So this guy comes back and he gives this guy plus one and the other guy. So they're both five power. That seems good. I think we're dead. Well, we're definitely bringing in Shriek Maw here. Let's go to one. Because we hate ourselves. Oh, this guy just comes back as a 4 4 with haste anyway, so it's like it's almost impossible to block anything profitably. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, uh, actually, Narsa, they do have Harmonize. Let's take out Growth Spiral. I almost like Ink Eyes here, to be honest. I think our deck is actually good. Should be good against them. Thank you. Dealy Coker with the gifted subs, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you. That is awesome, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor, doctor, give me the new one. Thank you. I'm just going to... We got two counter spells in hand. Sounds good. Of course, this is the game where they have nothing and we have the great hand, so... Stream dog being generous Thank as you. always. <laughs> two Exodus. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Daily Coker, it feels like... It feels like it hasn't even been like a week since we... Since we've seen each other. Since we've seen one another. Yeah, I don't care about that. Five drop, five drop, no land. Cool. Oh, boy. Time walk yourself. You know what? Sure. That doesn't do anything. 
This is awkward because of our mana. We can't actually keep up Counterspell and also play Thorn Lieutenant. Thank you. Well, shit. Walladil, thank you so much. 71 months, dude? Good gravy, man. 72 months is wild. Like, we gotta do this, right? Alright, now we're talking. 71 months. 72 months is like 7 years? No, that's not right. 6 years, right? Yeah, 6 years? That's crazy, dude. I don't know how years work, so... So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. We put them to 4 and then they go back up to 5. Blah. All he wanted to do was drive his Rish car. Too bad. Too bad. I could, might just be Oran Frostfang. Because we can like kill anything they deal, anything they play, and still also keep up uh, counter spell. So let's see if the Frosty Boy does the job. This is only seven mana, so they can't. Sundering Titan us. Oh my god. Cool. Super cool. Sometimes you just eat shit. <laughs> I want to get rid of their devotion because I think that's pretty strong with the Nyx Lotus in play. And we'll play Thorny Boy. Um, yeah, I guess I'll pass. I feel like I have my deck has no way to deal with four B tokens, so we literally just have to be like, well, hope they don't. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. And raise four runners. No, fuck that. Fuck right out of here with that bullshit. Dang, Mike. Well, I appreciate you trying, buddy. It means a lot. I mean, do we just Aetherling and try to, like... I guess so. We'll try to unblockable them forever, I guess. But now the shields are down so they can play their Sundering Titan. We did not watch the lighthouse. We were too busy drafting. There's a lot of mana. Get out of my face, you big dumb idiot. No way I want you to have four devotion and draw cards when you cast creatures, my dude. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Back off, Boogaloo. I said back. Um. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah. I guess we're just gonna. Can't be blocked. Plus one, negative one. Nah, I guess that's good, actually, because I want to be able to keep up the... I mean, it's a four-turn clock, and we can send them a little bit more behind. Okay, so now we actually can level that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we hit a land, we can level this up to eight and make this unblockable. Or we can just level this up to eight attack for six. That's also very good. Sure, it doesn't actually do much. Nurturing Peatland, probably. It's a free card. Underground Sea. Weird choice. Sure, of course, it's portal. Buddy, I'm still gonna kill you. <laughs> That's actually pretty great. Um... Uh, What's happening in chat? Yeah, it's a draw when they it's a draw it's a draw when they cast it and uh you can't respond. Uh once they once they resolve their spell, Carnage, huh? Uh homage. I will let you draw no cards. Uh, once they draw their, once they cast their spell and it resolves, they get priority, and I have no opportunity between when they resolve, um, Beast Whisper and when they cast another spell. There's no chance. Yeah, there's yeah, like if I could, if they could be like cast my guy, and I'm like okay, it resolves. After it resolves, I'll kill it. I would have done that, but like you don't get priority at any point. Actually, dead on board to these two. Like, this is five and six. That's like exactly 11. So, if we block here, they take three, four, five. She still die. Yeah, that's fine. All you do is take super priority and then you can respond. God, I wish I thought about super priority. That's a good point. And 
plus one. Okay. <laughs> like, wow, I didn't think we were going to win this game. I do kind of want Logic Knot now. I feel like this card is just... Uh, being able to counter their things is really just kind of a good place to be. Custody Lich actually seems bad in this matchup. They have a ton of... They go really wide. Um... I wish I had a sweeper of some sort. Mass manipulation seems good, but it also seems very expensive. Like, I don't know. Well. Well. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh man, Massacre would be nice. I don't think Massacre is in this queue. I have yet to see it. Palace Jailer is, which surprised me. Well, that's obnoxious. Narset? Oh, we have Narset in hand. Never mind. That's not obnoxious at all. I'm definitely not blocking with this guy. Seems fine. Attack my Narset. I dare you. I dare you. You got it. That's not bad. One, two, actually we can Yeah, I like that. Four four and then we can still keep up exclude. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just keep saying homage. That's good. That's just fine. Yep. This just means you have to attack with Beast Whisper though to like get through. So. Sure. Okay, they don't have anything else. That's pretty good. Oh, they also couldn't draw off this? Oh, man. Narset is like MVP at this moment. <laughs> 
One, two, three. Yeah, that seems pretty good. We can go to five, which means you still get to keep Counterspell up. I don't think there's a benefit to that right now. Are we on Carnage phase yet? No. Course of Portal is a nice way for your opponent to let you know how desperate they are. Oh man, this is this is good position to be in. I feel like two counter spells, they have two cards. Lands keep coming. So this is at six. We just get the pass again, do the same exact thing. Yeah, that seems good. You got it. That's just basically like another land. Oh yeah, that thing's going, going straight to hell. And we get to draw from it. God. Yep, you don't get to you don't get to draw, and we do. Oh baby. Um, yeah, let's catacomb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. Yep, I don't disagree with you, my dude. Um, yeah, we have no incentive to to take down the shields right now. So, I actually, I mean, like all things considered, I think considering what's going on, I don't think they're actually that salty. The lands keep coming and they don't stop coming, but and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> oh God, no. Oracle. So if I play Oracle, I put haste on it. They attack with everyone. Narset eventually dies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just can't have Narset die this turn. Because next time we can start playing things and like it shouldn't matter as much. It didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So we can actually go Marin. We could Mull Drift for for Evoke Evokesies. Marin of Clan and Nell Toth. Um, play Breeding Pool. Still going to pass here. Um, I think we're in a commanding position, so. I mean, they're probably going to play like Sundering Titan here. That would be rough. <laughs> Hex Drinker shuts it down pretty well, though. They have five, six, seven mana. Still homaging. That is just fine. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. You guys looking forward to Tony Hawk Pro Skater Remastered? Because I fucking am. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Oh, Denmark, what up, my dude? 
Uh, no, I didn't want a Marin first because I don't know what I'm going to draw. If I draw something even better, like an Oran Viper or something, or Oran Death Fang, then I just want to be able to play that. I, I think the, the keeping your opportunities open uh, in terms of what you're able to play is significantly better than one experience counter. So much to do, so much to say, so what's wrong with singing in the back streets? You never know if you don't go. Waka -waka. I hope they just make a new one, dude. The game, the franchise is so good. One, two, three, four, and we get to keep up counterspell. Holy Jesus. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your gore claw, get paid. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your gore claw, get paid. Yeah, this game's just over, right? All oh, that glitters is gold. Uh, homage. Now they're on the Carnage train. They're like, ah, Carnage. Sandworm Convergence? Oh boy. Uh, blue, blue. Chi, cha, chu. Chi, four? Yeah, it seems good enough. This has to be a really annoying match for my opponent, and I, I feel bad. Uh, bottom and top. Hey now, this is they, so. If we attack with all three, they have to block something. So let's do that. Because they're getting dealt six, and they got a they got a chump here. So that gentleman has a D touch. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. Let's get my guy back. That's wild, dude. Marin is so good. Would you rather, could you have Death Touch or Invisible Touch? Or Invisible Touch? An Invisible Touch, yeah. You can control, wraps right, hold up your heart. I mean, just getting a free creature back every single turn is, like, really good. It's like Horse of Portal, you know, you're drawing a card, except you get to choose which creature you want. They seem to have an invisible touch, yeah. Guys, not one person has signed up for Raid Shadow Legends in this stream, and that's really sad, because I only need ten more. Ten more downloads. There's a hundred of you in the chat. I know you haven't all signed up. You guys can't take three minutes out of your day to help me out. Unbelievable. I'm really sad. I'm a mulligan. I'm gonna keep it. Shoe Gardener, I believe in you. Clearly, I'm not talking to the people who have signed up. You guys are wonderful. Put Adeling back. I'm just saying. 
three minutes of your time. If that's all it takes. Uh, you too. I could try to have my nine-year-old son sign up. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, definitely don't be don't make fake accounts, guys. Thank you. Denmark, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, that was a good draw. And next turn we got the other. Oh boy. What's happening here? Oh boy. It's actually a very good hand. Holy shit. Um Well. I think Dire Fleet's actually one of the most scary cards right now. <sighs> Bone Crusher's also good. Next time they go Kiln Fiend, they have Bone Crusher up to be able to trade with our Courser. Huh. I'm eating a Hot Pocket. <laughs> it just might be, might be Kiln Fiend. <sighs> I really like Dire Fleet because they're going to be able to take this and then steal our Plow Under. Yeah, I'll take Dire Fleet. Shaving to have an invisible touch. Yeah. All right, Mountain has been played. Kiln Fiend has been played. They have five cards. Oh, Stomp should not be in here. I was like, wait, why is this? This looks like too many cards. Grab some right. Hold up, yeah. Huh? Now you have invisible touch stuck in my head. Dang it, pernicious dude. Welcome back. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, I'm good, thanks. So that's come down. We know three of the four cards in here. You can Bone Crusher Giant if you'd like, my dude. I'm good. Oh, they're going to do it anyway. Wow, there's like six damage is good enough. Okay. Okay. This guy's got Menace on the backside. No, it's just a 3-2. Okay. Okay. Let's play that thing. I kind of want to draw that Frost Fang. But I don't think we're going to. Because we need to murderous cut something. And Giant's gone, so we know these two cards. She seemed to have an invisible touch. Yeah. What up, TPO? I went to help you out and ended up liking the game. I already have four rare heroes, three on rank four, and Thanks. one on rank three. Man, get a load of... Oh, look who it is. Hello, this is me reminding you all that f flatulism has been considered a legitimate form of entertainment for hundreds of years in many cultures, so no, I will not be changing my habits. Thank you. What happened to Juposhi? Nature's Little Treasure, how are you How are you going back and forth between Juposhi and Nature's Little Treasure? I don't understand. Stoke the flames. Glad you don't have that. These guys are not coming at me. Don't come at me. Oh, breeding pool? I got blue, blue, black, black, green, green. Let's go green, blue. Uh, no, that's really sad. I wish I wasn't drawing that. Do I want to murder us? Cut these bullet one of these boys. I mean, they have the Inferno Titan in hand. Probably just want to attack the Shandy. Well, that's unfortunate. This Chandra is very good. Is it too good? I don't know. Maybe. Boy, do I wish I was not drawing Golgari's signet here. I really wish I didn't crack the fetch land actually, because we weren't gonna we weren't gonna murder his cut. So that was a pretty bad play. Because like, no, not only do we not get our five drop. Um. We also 
did not. Now we're going to draw Signet. That's what I'm trying to say here. Vampire. I mean, this is this is two matches in a row where I wish I had like a Languish or a Damnation or something. Take four. Hey, the Frost Fang came back. Why would you do that to your favorite land? Because I hate it. And we're at eight. We take two more. They drew a mountain. They hit another mountain. Misha's factory off the top. Sure. That seems good. God, even a card that gives neg one, neg one this turn would be nice. <laughs> Actually, we should have waited. There's going to be a land underneath there, I bet. I'm going to feel so dumb if there is. So we're going to go to five. They're going to attack with everything we're blocking here. We take one, two, three. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, we're not going to... We're not going to draw the chart, of course. Never mind. Yeah, all right. We'll see if we're dead here. We have to block here. We take three. Oh, I guess they get to attack with Mishra's Factory. I forgot about the Mishra's. Oh, oh, never mind. Wow. Miss Lethal. And they could have Stagger Shocked me. They, they missed Lethal twice in this turn. If they did this first before playing anything else, they could have Stagger Shocked us. Oh, okay. They, they still had it. It's okay. They had Lethal three ways. The third way was how they how they figured it out. Got it. Sounds good. Uh, Shriek Maw, yes. Thrag Tusk, yes. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 might just be keep Muldrifturn, I guess. Actually, Plow Under seems not great against them. When I rankle, I don't think it's very good. I mean, it's a three-three flying. I'm not. I'm not being the aggressor. I don't want them to uh, draw extra cards. I don't want to lose life. And I, if they have way more small guys like from Young Pyromancer than we do, so like none of these modes actually seem very good. Merchant's all right. Like we're probably just gonna gain like two or three, but it might be better than Muldrifter. Uh, the, the odds of us actually attacking them and then also playing this to make them discard is like probably 10. 10%. <laughs> Super low. Um, we literally haven't drawn our first pick once yet, so that's unfortunate. 
you're more of a two drop you can be a three drop i mean I, right now i'd probably bring in rankle only for the gray merchant but we don't need it so i guess we'll just i wish we could board in stagger shock and electrolyze that'd be great All right, we'll keep this. Incinerate, Forked Bolt, and Skewer the Critics. And then Bone Crusher and Kiln Fiend. Um, I mean, Incinerate's the better one, right? It deals three, the other one's deal two. Or this, I mean, the other one deals three, obviously, too, but it's not an instant, so. So we're definitely not playing this because they just fork bolted. That's just a four drop. Secure the critics of sorcery? Yeah, all right. So we do have time to actually play this and then pump it up in the same turn. So next time we can Wooded Foothills and Shriek Maw, only taking one from the Foothills. It's going to be a Kiln Fiend. Oh, I actually like that better. It's your boy. Oh, I like a Gaunti here, but they do have a Skewer the Critics. So that's worse. Oh, wow, they can go Fork Bolt, one to us, one to this, and then also... Oh, fuck, that's so bad. Yeah, we're just losing this game. <laughs> but if they don't see that... Oh, that's so bad, dude. Because we left them with the two sorceries, so it's, that's pretty comical. Maybe they won't see it. We'll see. <sighs> yep, they fucking saw the exact line. Fantastic. But, that does get rid of these, I guess. I don't know. Not a land. It's not bad. Let's lead with this gentleman. Ha! Huh. Oh, we're taking that guy for sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Embercleave as well, huh? Okie dokie. Sure. Crack this. Uh, just get an overgrown tomb. Oh, boy. <laughs> It's a spell, right? Good. So I'm not even taking that damage. I'll go to nine here with you having one card. For fucking sure, my dude. It's your boy. This is where they're like active treason. Attack with both, kill you. And then I'd be like, it's pretty good. They conceded from the game. Inferno Titan's a hell of a card, guys. A hell of a card. I mean, Dismember actually does kill things. I'll take out Gross Spiral and put, just put Dismember. Actually, let's take out a Signet. We have double black and double green. And we have double blue, though. But you can't cast the double blue cards off of this, really. So we'll just keep the other Signets in. Sure. <sighs> yeah, I wanted to make sure I wasn't taking two. I don't think I... I mean, it, would, it wouldn't have changed what I did. But... It was nice to know. Oh, 
Oh, right. Thief of Sanity has a card in our deck. Are you sure? Oh, cool. This hand would be great if we literally had one more land. <sighs> sure. Yep, this is how we fucking die. Of course, mulliganing for five. Yep. Wild. <laughs> of course they begin with seven cards. Why wouldn't you? Because we're going to water your grave. Gives us the best mix of lands. What's our record? I mean, we're 1-0 right now. I mean, this hand is not bad. It just doesn't do anything. It just gives you the the tools to find things to do. And I don't know if we have the time for that. Who has the time? get a watery grave Br oh we can't get a watery grave I'm an idiot <laughs> doesn't really matter but you know oh unforgiven with the bits thank you buddy I appreciate it did you get the raid goal no I'm 10 away 10 downloads away and out of 122 people Ten of you don't want to help out. It's a little sad, but what can you do? I know, so close, so close. I agree. All right. Oh, this... Wait, this guy has haste. Why wouldn't you... That's the menace one I was thinking of. That's good. We're going to lose to the post-combat haste creature. That's nice. Land on top one time. Don't do me dirty. There. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> I want to die. Well, that's okay, Frank. You're going to be dead in about 13 seconds. So that's fine. Ooh. They're going to just stoke the flames. This guy attack us for six. Call it a day. I mean... Yeah, don't don't do any shenanigans where you guys are like downloading it twice or something. I definitely don't want any sort of uh no no chicanery here. Just Yeah, we're just going to draw dismember. Yeah, I'm just going to fucking concede like this is just not even worth playing out. Yeah, cool. Good times. Mulligan into 5. Very very uh solid course to victory. I, I hate the Magic the Gathering resource system. Every day is chicanery. So look at this. We have Signet Signet Growth Spiral in hand. <sighs> well, we're on the play. So maybe this will mean something. Maybe it'll just, maybe it'll mean something. Oh, probably not. Just mono-aggressive decks. All right, let's play that. Whirler, Ophio, Phyrexian Arena. And you have one swamp. Let's take this Phyrexian Arena. That seems like the best. Uh, when you have no blue sources. And just this dirtily biscuit. Let's go Demir Signet. Into Golgari Signet. Into Pass. Ye old Turnarino. Oh, 
I got my own field man, sir. Cool story, bro. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five, six. Duress you. Dismiss it all. Cast this one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Turn figure out the battle fact is only can you cast a sorcery if you have one or fewer cards in hand. Yeah, that's a really easy block. I'll snap that thing off all day. One, two, three, four. Clan of Nelly. If you wanna go and take a ride with me, get them all drifted back to you. This way must be the Molly. Okay, that's fine. I accept. Is where they they're like, well, I can't get an island, so I'm just gonna scoop it up. Scoop it up. The heat is on. Get in there with this guy. What are you gonna do? Tell them. Block? Give me a snake? Yes. Do it. Excellent. I'm just gonna actually Muldrifter with Evoke because it'll it'll trigger this again, and then we can get Thorn Elemental on the battlefield. One, two, three. Corsi boy. Uh, play this. Take one. Chart course. Now we're doing it. This is what's live. This is this is what the deck. This is called living the dream. They're gonna kill this. Oh yeah, she did. I mean, the value is already. Um, <laughs> gonna grow spiral. Put this into play. Put this into play. One, two. Okay. <laughs> oh man, they're like, oh, plow under, huh? All right. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the videotape. I do love Thrag Test against these stupid aggressive decks. God, Custody Lich. These are like the not the Custody Lich decks. Like we're just facing mono creature decks. If they have like Ophiomancer, it's so bad. I've been liking Logic Knot too. This deck also has like Agent of Treachery, which I really don't feel like dealing with. Isn't this whole format our creatures? I mean, just control decks and stuff. I want a 41 it. We have 17 lands, 3 2 drop things. I believe in us. Snap it. Snap it off. Next time we're just going to go Fitted Pools. That lets us drown on turn three. Oh, no. I guess they're taking Exclude. Buddy, I don't even know what you're trying to do. Snake Tribal is right. Actually, it might just be Watery Grave. It lets us maximize our, our Hex Drinkers. That's pretty good, too. I actually kind of like Water Grave, dismember this guy for, or Fetid Pools, dismember this guy for two, for four, attack for two, and then we get to exclude next turn. I get to keep this up for one of the two counter spells. Counter spells and leveling up are pretty, uh, there's a, there's a tension there for sure. Yep, this is what I was afraid they were going to play on turn three, but... I don't know. What can you do? Um, yeah, I'm 
just going to actually go for it here. Yeah, we just need to get this dude to pro everything. Pro instance is good. What is this attack? Collector Brutality? Like, Collector Brutality is the only thing I could think. There's no dead weight, right? Like... Like... I just assume it's Collector Brutality. Four mana. Tassiger. Well, that was weird. That was not what I expected. I think we're just getting breeding pool next turn. We're keeping up logic knot here. Let's just counter anything, uh, unless they pay two. We can also just keep growth spiral up in case they don't do anything except for activate tasks here. So I'm pretty okay with that. I mean, I'll just take five here. Yeah, that's fine. I got my own build of progenitus going here, so. Interesting. Well, we're in the end step, and this has pro instance, so I don't think I'm too concerned with whatever they have, because they can't do anything to this guy. Okay, okay, so... One, two, three. All right, now we have progenitus. <laughs> Seems good. Uh huh. Two swamps. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I just don't want them to have a bunch of power on board because we're only at eight, so. I would have loved a land. Because then we can play like Thief, still keep up Exclude. Maybe we don't care about it. Snake tribal. I got a fever of 103. 
Snake trouble. Snake trouble. All right, well, you have free reign here. You get to do whatever you like. Yeah, all right. That's pretty good. I guess you get in here for five. Inkai's Dig Through Time Agent of Treachery. Uh, it's for sure get rid of Inkai's. Those other two cards don't really matter. And we're going to go for the gold here. And attack for this. We're going to block Tassiger, we're going to go to one, and then we're going to kill you on the next turn. That's the goal. We know this is your hand. And we can't really cast either without you doing anything. Or you can't, rather. So they have to, like, hit. They have to They have to draw something right now. They can't cast this. They have to spend their entire turn doing this. So we block, we six them. That's the plan. It's good enough. Check out CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday, guys. Patreon.com slash Frank Helpor is a great way to support the channel for $1 or $2 a month. You can also check out Manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service, and you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below, so be sure and use that. Guys, sign up for Raid Shadow Legends. I need 10 more downloads. It'll take three minutes. It's like the least effort you can expend for free content, I think. Link is in the chat. It's also down below in the YouTube description. So, this is intense. They could Tassiger hope to hit, like... They died. 2-1. Not 2... I was going to say 2-0, but that didn't make sense. I was like, 2-1. It was like, 0-1. Oh, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on all the things I mentioned. Links and promo codes are all down below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.